Okay, this is an introduction to finding stuff. How's that for general? We're going to, to learn how to find stuff. There's uh, several different commands for finding stuff in Linux. What we're going to start out is with the most most simple, locate. Locate is a command that will find files by their file name. If you're looking for ifcfgeth0, that's just a, a, a name of a file. I can type in locate the file name. I can use globbing, which we've learned about globbing. You can use dash i. You can say locate dash i to turn off case sensitivity. And it will look through an index, not the hard drive or the file system, but an index that it's created. Kind of like, uh, well, the example I give in the other videos is like a, a library. If you go in a library, you don't go arbitrarily looking through the stacks of books. You go straight to the index, find it, then you can find your books. Anything big, you're going to use an index for. Locate uses that index, and it finds your files quickly. Um, the bad thing about that is if you have just created a file, and the index has not been created, it's not going to find your file. Kind of like if you go into the library and if they didn't put a card in the card catalog to begin with and just stuck the book on the shelf, you couldn't find it. The index wouldn't help you. Looks only at the file names and nothing else. It doesn't look at the size of the file. It doesn't look what's inside the file. It doesn't look at the ownership of the file. It doesn't care if it's a text file or a data file or an MP3 or JPEG or whatever. It's just looking at the file name. Uh, like I said, very fast, but it can miss newly created files, doesn't look at the contents of the files, and what it returns is the file name complete with the path name. That's all it does. So it's a real simple, real quick little command. Looks for file name, it says, here it is. That's basically it. You're giving it, giving it a glob or a, or a file name, and you're getting back where it is. That path name is, is what you're looking for. Okay, to get a little bit more complicated, find. Find is a little bit more complicated. The purpose of find is to, again, find files on the file system. But this time, we're going to be looking for lots and lots of files. We're locating. A lot of times, you're just looking for one. Um, finds files or directories by searching a section of the file system. If you're smart, it's a section of the file system. You may be looking through the entire file system if you're completely lost or need something special. Um, it uses globbing uses dash i for case sensitivity does not use an index you get a trade-off finds going to be slower but if you created a file 30 seconds ago it will find it um, it will look at the information about the file you can say find all the files that are over two gigabytes in size find all the files that are owned by user Wilbur or a combination and it can get really complicated and you can really find some neat stuff you can say find all the files owned by Wilbur in this directory that have been changed since yesterday. You can do complicated stuff with it. It does not look in the file. Again, it doesn't care if it's an MP3 unless you tell it to look for MP3s. Um, doesn't look inside of them. Doesn't care. It returns the file name complete with path name or it can return more information. You can do a lot of stuff because you can perform commands on each file as it's found. So you can say, find me all the files that end in MP3, and then delete them as you find them. So find is an extremely powerful command, and you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. It's very, very, very flexible. So that's fine. But what we're shooting for, find finds files, like locate finds files. The difference between the two being that locate uses an index, Find does not. Find actually searches the file system. And I say file system instead of hard drive because your file system can contain lots of different hard drives, which, again, it makes you, you, you need to, to just search a section of it. Okay, grep is another command. Grep is a filter. Um, grep is not looking for file names. It is looking for stuff within the files. It actually is searching for patterns within streams of text. Now that stream could be reading a file. Like if you say cat, Etsy services, and then grep for something. Well, you can also just use grep by itself and say grep for something within this file or within this set of files or whatever. But it's looking for patterns. And the, the thing that we're going to learn about these patterns, this pattern is a jumping off point to something called regular expressions, 
which are used a lot in Linux. Again, really powerful, like a tiny little programming language almost. You can get really specific. Doesn't use an index, it wouldn't make sense. Does not look at information about the files. It doesn't care how big the file is, it doesn't care who owns it. Looks exclusively at the contents of the file, and the only ways I've ever seen it used is the contents of text files. I don't know what you could do with it on an MP3 or JPEG. Like I said, it's a jumping off point for regular expressions. What it returns is a pattern where the f pattern of where the text was found. It returns the whole line and then the file that the text was found in. And sometimes it may be found in a lot of different files. Okay. Um, okay. Here are a few examples. Locate just kind of is by itself. It's real simple to use um, as long as you've you've built your your um, index. Locate this. Boom, it's going to spit back the location of the file or the files. Now, what I need to bring out is the difference between find and grep. And we'll look at all these later. I'm just trying to give you a general idea right now. Find, you say find where to start and then what to look for. I'm going to say find, start in the Etsy directory, the files that end in .conf. Um, grep is just the opposite of that. That's what makes it a little bit funky. Grep what to look for and then you give it a place to start. Say look in Etsy and splat. So you're given a file name. Find you're going to give it a directory of where to start looking. Grep you're going to give it a file name. And in this case star is going to um, resolve to every file in that directory and a dash R makes it recursive. So what this would do is look for where the server name is set in the Etsy directory. All right, don't freak out. There'll be lots of examples to come on these on how you use them. I just wanted to give you a, a quick idea of, of what you're going to see and what the differences are.